including myself, are past members of the advisory committee, and so we also have first-hand knowledge of what that's like. Each Tuesday, each Monday and Tuesday, uh, well, every other Monday and Tuesday, we gather for committee work, and every other Tuesday, we gather for a council meeting. And it's your work that helps us shape the policy uh, that we're shaping. And right now, we're building a better city. We are about 18 months into a term. Uh, if you think about the kind of ground that's been covered over the past 18 months, it really is impressive. Uh, a strategic plan was delivered uh, within the first 100 days. It was developed at uh, a level of specificity that was really um, not done before here in London, across Ontario, or across Canada. That strategic plan was then linked to a multi-year budget so that then we can plan not just for the short term, but for the medium and long term as well. That's one of the first multi-year budgets that's been completed in Ontario or Canada. And we're tackling huge city building ideas. We're tackling uh, a downtown master plan where we'll see a flex street that can close on evenings and weekends. There'll be bullets that will pop up and we'll see uh, restaurants and shops spill up onto the street. The street becomes Place that's people first, not car first. We're making significant investments in our river. That's at the heart of our city. We're so lucky to have the Thames River at the heart of our city. And when people travel here, it will become more of a destination when we're done. We're also changing the way that we move across the community. You know that we're very focused on a rapid transit system. Uh, we've been working on that since 2014, but things are really coming to a head now. We'll have a final decision likely by the end of this spring, and that's so exciting. It not only will change the way that we move across this community, it's also going to change the way that we grow as a community. And you remember the London plan. When you think about the work that each and every one of you has devoted from your various perspectives towards that, a plan that doesn't just look four years ahead, it looks 20 years ahead. A plan that calls for us to grow much more inward and much more upward to be a more affordable city, uh, to be uh, a more walkable city, and to be a more sustainable city. All of those things are happening. And all of those things are happening because of you. Because of our community, we have a community that cares and that supports council every single day. I'm so pleased that uh, we have many councillors here with us this evening. Uh, Deputy Mayor Maureen Cassidy is here. Councillor Jesse Helmer is here. Councillor Hopkins is here, Councillor Turner is here, Councillor Mr. Sensational Harold, Harold Usher is here, and Councillor Van Hulse as well. Uh, it's uh, my pleasure on behalf of all of Council to, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you very much for taking the time to volunteer to make the city stronger. There are things in our lives that we have to do we probably have a list that's about as long as our arm every single day. And then there are things in our lives that we choose to do. You don't have to do this. You don't have to work so hard. You don't have to provide your advice to us. But you've chosen to do it. And for that, we're eternally grateful. Thanks so much. Thank you.